Hi, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael Sushum. Today, another product review from a pretty good company. Grab your snack and a beverage. Could be heart healthy, could be crappy. I don't really care. You do you and stand by. Welcome back, fishy folks. Today, I am doing a review on the Cactoily 6-in-1 Aquarium Water Quality Monitor. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself, but Mike, you mostly do freshwater. You have one saltwater tank. Why are you doing a review? That's a great question. And the answer is, <clears throat> I'm going to break down the fourth wall here a little bit. Um, at least once a day, I get companies wanting me to do a review on their product. Everything from aquarium stuff to fishing stuff. Today, I just got one for a heating pad. And I've been just saying yes lately because I want to see, am I going to get these free products? Like, what's going on? Now, this one, they, they contacted me. And clearly, the English is in their first language. But they were very professional and very nice. And I thought to myself, you know, you could use something like this for the marine tank. Because I don't know that much about salt water. I know enough to keep the fish alive in most cases, but that's it. Um, I do a lot of research when I have a problem. And long story short, I thought I could use it. So they asked me if I wanted to do it. And I said yes, and they sent it to me. And I told them that I need two or three weeks at least to start testing it. That was about, I would say about a month before my heart attack. And the reason I'm bringing this up is um, most companies don't really care about you or your health. Um, while I was in the hospital recovering from open heart surgery, I got an email that said, um, hey, you know, it's been a couple weeks now. Have you done the video? What's going on? And I had an answer because I just had open heart surgery. Within a few days, I got another email Oh, we saw your most recent video about the heart attack. We're so sorry. Please don't even worry about the, the review. You know, heal, get better, and then do the review. Don't worry about it. Which, quite frankly, I thought was really top-notch. Really high class. So, folks, I don't know a whole lot about this company other than the person who sent me the product and has been monitoring my channel for this, this video Super, super person. And I will recommend this product just for that. Now, let's talk about this Cactoily 6-in-1 Aquarium Water Quality Monitor. This is a wired version. Um, they do have a new wireless version on their website. I think it might be on Amazon. I'm going to put an Amazon affiliate link down below for this very product. It's on sale for Black Friday. It's like 72 bucks, And it measures six different things. Salinity, pH... TDS, specific gravity, temperature, and electric conductivity. Now, I had no idea why we needed to know about EC, um, and so I looked it up. And because I'm a dumb guy, handsome but dumb guy, I'm going to read what it says. EC is a measure of the water's ability to carry an electrical current, and indirectly a measure of dissolved solids or ions in the water. Pure water has very low conductivity value, nearly zero. Hence, the more dissolved solids and ions occurring in the water, the more electrical current the water can conduct. Now, my friend Alex from History did a really nice video on this. I'll link that up here as well. Uh, you may remember Alex did an interview of me on his channel. Alex is a good dude, really, really smart, way smarter than me, which is makes sense since I'm better looking. But um, in fact, he doesn't even know I'm mentioning him. But I did watch his video. I watched a bunch of videos on this. Um, when they sent it to me, because I didn't really know like what it is, what it's, what it does. But simply put, uh, there's a black box with all the pros that goes in the tank. You can see here the LCD display with the six different readings. Now, in my marine tank, obviously, specific gravity and salinity are the most important. But even pH and temperature are quite important. If you're, if you're going to put this in a freshwater tank, obviously, and, and you're looking for shrimp or really difficult species to breed, the TDS and EC will definitely help you 
And um, the other thing that's really neat is pH, as you know, changes throughout the day. So you can easily see the pH change on the LCD display without breaking out your test kit. Now, if you remember in the video that I'm gonna link up here, I did a review of the Fritz um, Master Test Kit, it's freshwater salt water, and it does a great job. Now, I had planned to do a pH test on my saltwater tank, but unfortunately the pH uh, bottle from Fritz was leaking. Now, I, I contacted their customer service and they're, they're sending me a new one like it was no big deal, sending me a new one, good customer service. Um, unfortunately, I don't have it yet, and I really want to make this video uh, for the Cactoily people. So now you can see here the LCD display. Uh, in the upper left is salinity. The upper right is specific gravity. The bottom left is uh, TDS. The bottom right is EC. And then in the middle, on the left, you have the pH and on the right, you have the temperature. Now, again, this is in my marine tank, so if you're a freshwater person, some of these numbers may, might not make sense to you. If you're a marine person, and you and I don't know what I'm talking about, you can certainly leave a comment below and let me know. I am open to being educated. So you can see here, the specific gravity, gravity is 1.016. Now, what I did was, I have this hygrometer, old school hygrometer that I use to measure um, the specific gravity just to make sure. And you can see it's pretty much the same. I might be off 0 0.001 or two, but I don't really think that matters a whole lot. Um, sorry about the super cichlid sponsorship there. Uh, I just needed to put something behind it so you could see the numbers. But, uh, anyway, that in itself shows that that's pretty accurate. Um, I have tested the TDS with my TDS meter. Unfortunately, my TDS meter battery went dead and I don't have a new one yet. So uh, the TDS was exactly the same. Uh, I haven't tested the pH with the Fritz kit, like I said, but I did test it with my pH meter and it was within uh, 0 0.01 of each other. Now, <clears throat> how does this thing work? The black box that sits in the water has a, uh, all the probes in it and that uh, does all the measurements. Um, another thing to really look out for for this is um, how to calibrate it or can it be calibrated? How long does it take to calibrate? It comes with all the calibration solutions in the box. Um, it comes with the USB outlet, uh, two different length cords. It really comes with everything you're going to need. Um, calibrating it. I haven't had to calibrate it yet, but it seems pretty easy. You just put the probe in the calibration solution. Uh, the three different calibration solutions. It's quite easy. Uh, it does come with a one-year warranty, and I think it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee as well. As far as calibration goes, the manual uh, for the calibration is quite easy to read, and it has pictures of the screens you need to do, so it's quite easy. Um, now you can certainly take this, if you have multiple tanks in your fish room or your house, you can certainly move it from tank to tank. It takes about one to 15 minutes to get up to speeding and all the measurements correctly, especially if the numbers are different. For instance, if you're going from a salt to a freshwater tank, it would probably take 15 minutes for all the readings to catch up. I haven't tried it because I haven't needed to. Um, two cons for this product. Uh, it comes with a magnet uh, that sticks to the tank and then you can stick it on. Uh, it, it's not very sticky. I don't know if it's humidity or it's a curved glass, but it fell off within a day. Um, so I wasn't too happy about that, but I uh, probably will just change it to a suction cup eventually. Um, the other con. It takes a little bit to read the instructions and figure it out. Now, that just could be because I'm a dumb guy, <coughs> but usually I'm pretty good with technology. I actually contacted them and said the whole thing doesn't work, and they said, please take a picture of it. I did. I sent it to them, and they're like, you're a dummy. It wasn't even plugged in. Now, they didn't really say that, but I'm sure they were laughing at me. Uh, long story short, you just got to read the directions and pay attention, and then you should be okay. I didn't do that uh, apparently correctly. 
So, I highly recommend the Cactoily 6 to 1 Aquarium Water Quality Monitor for a few reasons. One, the company, at least the people I've dealt with, seem to be really down to earth and actually care. Two, for 72 bucks, you get all these different measurements. Um, just measuring TDS in tanks can be difficult. TDS meters are probably 20 or 30 bucks on their own. If you're gonna buy something to measure pH, you're probably not just gonna get, you know, one of the liquid test kits or a strip, you might, but you're probably gonna buy the whole test kit, which is like 20 or 30 bucks. You're almost at the price of this and you get all the other um, measurements as well. So check out the link below. Let me know down in the comments what I screwed up. And uh, for those of you that care about my heart attack, you can tell I'm coughing because <coughs> after I talk for a while, I get tired. I'm doing really well. Uh, we're post-op almost three weeks. I got, I'm getting stronger every day. And um, that's that. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I do my best to answer. Check out that affiliate link. And if you don't want to buy this, help the channel out. Click that affiliate link and do all your Christmas shopping, all your Black Friday shopping. I still make the shekels. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs> Guys, let me know if you have any comments. Leave them down below. Questions, let me know. That's what I just said. <laughs> Hi, fishy folks, and welcome back. I don't know why I'm shaking. I'm shaking the whole goddamn camera. It's because this house, it's from 1918. It's older than I am, and I'm older. Anyway, let's start again. All right, fishy folks, welcome back. Today I'm reviewing the Cactoily 6-in-1 Probe. Thirsty, stand by. <clears throat> All right, fishy folks, this product, I don't know how to say the name, so stand by. 